Hello everyone, welcome to the Decentric Basic Functional Training. We will start with the first part and that is Decentric Template Designer. The target audience are functional consultants on the partner side and on the client side, developers on both sides as well and key users on the client side. We will start with uh, the approach where we will work with the template from scratch. We will create it uh, from a blank document in the first phase, just a report mockup. That means we would create in Microsoft Word something that we would like to have as our final output when we print our report. We will use the mockup values, some sample values that we know we can expect from our system. Once we have that, before continuing to the second phase, we will check about some basic elements in our designer and we will explain some basic concepts when working with the Decentric Template Designer. And when we get uh, accustomed to that, we will move to the second phase, we will really dig into the actual work, we will start using the most important uh, tools or tagging elements that the Decentric Designer uses to replace the mockup parts like uh, fixed uh, values of uh, document ID, document date and so on with the dynamic content coming from our report data source. For that we are using so-called decentric tagging elements and we will use these elements that we listed uh, here. There are many more but these are the most important ones. So let's start with the first phase creating a template from scratch or creating a report mockup. For that, the idea is to finish with something like this. But I will do a few things so that you see what would be the experience. So I will start from a blank document. Here it is. Let's make it a little larger. And we can actually move it across the whole screen. So what is the first thing that you usually do? You deal with the document header and footer. So let's go double click into the document. But before I do that, usually with the reports, you want to have as much space as possible on your design. So I would start with the narrow margins. And now I will go into the header and you need to figure out in advance what your header would look like. I would uh, use few sections. On the left side, I would like to have a logo. Then in the middle, I would like to have some uh, information like address of my company. And here on the right side, I would like to have few other fields or information about my company. So what I plan to do, I will insert one table that will have three cells for these three sections. I don't need uh, their borders, so I will click here. And now on the left side, I will insert the picture of my logo, but instead of it, I will just copy and paste it from another document. That's also probably something that you would do. And here below, you can type the name of your company. It's absolutely something that you expect to get at the end, but in runtime, this information will come from your legal entity. Here I can type the address of my company, but instead I will copy paste from another document. And let's say this here, I want to have aligned on the right side. And here I would like to also add some other information like VAT number would be something. Email address would be info at the centric dot com phone maybe plus 386 we are in Slovenia and something for mobile one two three four five six that would be it so I'm happy with the header and let's move on maybe somewhere here I would have when the report is printed out oh yes I will be using purchase order for the example and my goal is to get one simplified mock-up of purchase order so that purchase order would obviously have a title, document title, purchase order. Again, that is something that would come from the report data source in runtime. Then I would like to have um, some information 
usually related to the header like document number and document date and similar and maybe on the left side that would be some address uh, if I'm printing to a printer then this document would here maybe have uh, that window uh, where the address and the uh, recipient uh, should be printed. So for that I will insert one table with two cells. Again I will say that it doesn't have borders, I just need it for the layout purposes and here I will again copy paste the information from the already prepared document but you would print whatever is some example that you have in front of you. And on the right side I will do something like this. Next thing we would like to have some table for the lines. That's usually a place where uh, you need to spend the most of the time. So let's say I would need some seven or eight uh, table rows where maybe this one would be shaded. Maybe here this one could be a little narrower and would be maybe a doc line number. Then let's say that here we would uh, have description and quantity and unit and price and maybe some discount and amount in transaction currency. So obviously this here was too much. I will delete it and I will say that this one starts here. Unit actually it makes more sense to first bring the data so that's what I plan to do. I will take again some sample data from some other document but you would type here really the values that you expect to have. So maybe this one here should be nicer if it is right aligned and this amount as well and price unit could be centrally aligned quantity again on the right so here we would like to have some extra space here discount is fine prices okay this was better unit could be something like this and quantity maybe something like this so you get the idea what uh, you need to do and here you can waste a lot of time on this or a little of time depends on your requirements and I'm sure anyone in your company who knows to work with Word would be able to produce a document like this. You can now go and find you need to make uh, maybe these borders uh, some different color maybe so I would go into table design borders borders and shading and um, color maybe I would give it some lighter color okay but instead of continuing uh, here I will use the table that I have prepared already and I will also copy a few other things that I have there something like this maybe at the end we will have some notes maybe here at the bottom we can have page number so that would be something like page and then we would insert parts field that is something about numbering and page okay page number one of how many pages so again quick parts fields now this would be document information number of pages okay and maybe a date of printing so date of printing would be a quick parts field date and time and maybe date maybe in this format okay and actually I will cut this and I will insert some table with two cells give it again no borders and here now I will insert this information maybe it can be smaller font size let's say nine and here on the right maybe I will type some additional information 
I will copy paste something like this again smaller size and maybe this footer could be a little smaller so something like this okay This is our mockup, and this is the result of creating a mockup from scratch.